Welcome to another pixel art video. The monster this week is Shubnigurath, the black goat of the woods with a thousand young. She is a deity or a great old one of the Cthulhu mythos of H.P. Lovecraft. She's also called the Lord of the Wood. She's never actually described in any of the stories. Only uh, named in incantations and sometimes alluded to. There's also a bit of a debate on whether the phrase the black goat of the woods with a thousand young is actually meant to refer to uh, Shubnigarath herself. Some of the wording and phrasing uh, in, the, in the parts of the text referring to them seems a little bit ambiguous. That makes some believe that the black goat could be more like the name of some sort of herald of Shubnigarath. Or maybe the name of some sort of false idol, some sort of false deity, used as a proxy for Shubnigarath, that probably takes a form a little bit more acceptable to human minds. So, like, you can imagine a pagan cult in the woods, dancing around and worshipping a little, little devil-looking uh, statue... But in reality, they're, they're playing with something they don't fully understand. And that goofy little goat man statue, in reality, stands for something much more sinister. Something that if you saw it, if you saw its real form, maybe even just a representation of its real form, you might go mad. But yeah, anyway, it's not, it's not super clear what if that was the actual intention. Since H.P. Lovecraft was uh, actively encouraging other authors to uh, cite and borrow ideas from his stories, I'm sure there's been a wealth of different interpretations of, uh, of Shibnigarath, uh, one way or the other, from other authors uh, inspired of the Cthulhu mythos. If you look at artists' renditions of Shubnigurath online, you see quite a bit of, uh, of designs that kind of incorporate the idea of a, of a goat with a thousand young in it, but also a bunch of completely, completely alien tentacled creatures. Obviously enough, for, uh, for my attempt, I went with the latter. I drew this monster for fun, mainly, but... That story about uh, a goofy little goat man, uh, you know, being a proxy for something different and sinister. That might inspire the, the actual implementation of uh, Shubnigarath in my game. As usual, I've drawn all of this on my Twitch stream. Check the video description for a link to my Twitch channel. I stream every night at 8 p.m. EST, except on Mondays. This was another of those monster designs with so many little bits that it, it really took forever to detail. A bunch of wiggly arms and crab legs. I think all the arms, uh, with how they're shaded differently, does a pretty good job of giving that monster depth. I think it looks really good over a dark background. I might have gone a little bit overboard on the googly eyes for her here. For a creature meant to break your mind the moment you set your eyes upon her, she might look a little bit too adorable. At first, the lighting pattern on the individual arms looked a little bit too simple, uh, looked a little too plain. 
So later I went back to them and gave them a slightly more glossy, maybe even uh, semi-transparent look. And that did the trick. It was either that or giving them a texture, and uh, a texture would have taken forever. Now I'm finally detailing the head and the eyes, making it look more and more like a very mutant tomato. That was actually the initial name for the monster, Eldritch Tomato. I think I might do a few more renditions of Cthulhu Mythos creatures. A Shoggoth would be nice. Or a Yeethian. The great race of Yeeth. They look like big inverted inverted cones with tentacles. I don't know if I would do uh, the great Cthulhu himself. Maybe I I'd need to I need to really think on a on a good uh, good interpretation of it first. Feel free to suggest other uh, Cthulhu Mythos monsters in the comments. Now that uh, Shubnigorath herself is pretty much done, I believe it's time to draw one of her famous Thousand Young. So here I draw a little a little shublet, a little shubling. I don't know. I don't know what you would call the young of Shubnigarath. A little shubletto. Ah, a shubletto. Look at that little face. You can't say no to a little face like that. You literally can't say no to a little face like that. Because the only thing you can say to a face like that is... Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.